Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this quick tip video, we're going to take a look at another way we could rig up this cabinet. If you haven't seen my previous video about rigging furniture for using with linking, check it out here. In this instance, we're starting with the same drawers. We have an armature with five bones. One bone is the root and controls the whole mesh, and then the other four each control the drawers separately. In the prior video, we sent a bone constraint on each drawer bone so that it could only move a given amount. But a viewer asked how they could control the drawers using something like a slider in the sidebar rather than grabbing the bones and dragging them. This is one solution that I came up with. The movement of the drawer is along the y-axis of these bones. They start at zero and they go to about 0.4. One way we can add a set of controls to the drawers is go to the armature properties, click custom properties, and then add four properties. We'll name these drawers one through four. Now these four properties will be available as properties of our armature. If you're just gonna use this object in this file, that's all you need to do. However, if you plan on linking this to another file, there is another setting that you're gonna to wanna to set in each of your properties. If I click the edit button, next to one of my custom properties, make sure the is library overridable option is checked and then click OK. This way, when we create the library override in our new file, we'll be able to change these settings. We can access these with a driver. Since we only want to move, since we only want to move these bones along the Y axis, we'll go ahead and lock the X and Z axis as well as the rotation and scale. This bottom drawer is marked as drawer four. So I'm gonna hover over the value on the drawer four property, right click and say copy as new driver. Going to the Y axis, I'm gonna right click and paste driver. Immediately, the drawer is gonna slide way out here. That's because currently the drawer four option is set to one and so now the Y location is set to one meter. That's too far for what we want. We could change the property to only go from zero to 0.4, but what we'd like to do is leave this as zero to one, where zero is all the way closed and one is all the way open. So we're gonna need to edit the driver. Hovering over the driven property, I'll right click and say edit driver. Currently, the driver type is an average value but what we want is a scripted expression. When we pasted the value as a driver, it created a variable called drawer four, pointing to the armature's drawer four property. So in our expression, we can multiply drawer four by any value we'd like. Since fully open is at 0.4, I'm gonna multiply drawer four times 0.4. So now when drawer four down here is at one, that one will be multiplied by 0.4, resulting in 0.4 here. Now, if I want to close this drawer, I'll run this to zero. If I want to open it, I'll run it to one. I can repeat these steps for each drawer. So now you'll see we have the four drawers in our custom properties, which can go from zero to one, which is closed to open. Because the y-axis is driven and the other properties are all locked, there's nothing I can do manually to this bone. I have to do it through the properties. So now that we've saved that file, I'm over in another scene where I want to import that cabinet. Going to the file menu, I'll go to link. Choosing the file with my collection, I'll choose collection and double click on the collection name of the collection that has my cabinet. Go to object, Relations, Make Library Override. This has now imported my cabinet. However, if I go to my Armature tab and open Custom Properties, you'll see that the four properties are grayed out. That's because by default, Make Library Override only overrides the pose mode for armatures. To access these properties, in our Outliner, open up the collection that we imported, open up Armatures, and then on this armature data block that still has the link icon, right click 
and say make library override. Now that we've done this, you'll see that our four properties are enabled and they can now adjust our drawer. Another thing to notice is that when you have a library override field and you've changed its value away from the library, it turns this cyan color instead of gray. So this is just another way you can interact with your armatures. I hope that you find it helpful and I hope it inspires you to create something awesome. If you like the videos, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. I'll catch you next time.